Auto binding allows us to modify a thing automatically without running a workflow with the button. Much like in Google Sheets, you type in a cell, it saves to the database. Let me show you how it's done in Bubble. So I am in an admin dashboard that I've created and I have this input here. And in this input, I have a quick way just to edit someone's job title. It means that I don't need a button anywhere. I can just type in this field and it's updated automatically. Now, before we set up this input, let's have a look at something called privacy rules because we have to set a quick privacy rule to enable this functionality. So in the input job title, I have the initial content set to the current cell's job title. Perfect. Let's create an auto binding input where we can just type in the input and it saves automatically. So we do need to check this. And now it's going to give us a field to modify. So this repeating group is type user. And in the database, these are the fields. So with auto binding, we'll be able to modify a single field such as text, text there, a date and a number. Let's have a look at these fields. Okay, fantastic. So let's set it to modify the job title. Now it's asking us that, now it's asking us to set a privacy rule. So all we need to do is click on this message. And that takes us across to the user data type in the privacy tab. So now we define a new role. We can call this anything you like. I'm calling it job title. This is just for your reference. And then we need to set a condition for when this auto binding can happen. So I'm just going to say when current user is logged in. When the current user is logged in, we can then write to that field automatically without running a workflow. Then we need to check auto binding. And now it's asking us to allow auto binding for which fields. The field we want is job title. Okay, so privacy rules are basically security set on the server, not in the browser. So you, you won't really be able to hack stuff on the server. It would be a lot more difficult. And it just provides the base level of security within your app. Auto binding does allow, auto binding means that you have to set privacy rules to be able to create this functionality. Okay. For everyone else, I'm going to make sure that this is unchecked. Okay, this is actually the default setting that you would be seeing. Just make sure this is unchecked. We don't want anyone auto binding on these particular inputs. Just me when I'm logged in, I'm the admin. Let's try it. So if I change this to manager, hit enter, we saw that the workflow ran. And if I refresh, it's Billy Bryson, good marketing manager. Now it is better UX to actually show a message, okay? And not just a little loading bar at the top, which, is, which happens automatically. So what I tend to do was just put an alert on the page. Maybe I'll position at the top and I'll just have a success message. Then we can attach that success message by checking this box and then choosing that message there. Okay, so this is just good UX, good practice for a user to confirm that an action has happened. Because if this user changes all of them down here, they might not have the confidence that it's actually worked. So if I go to Tina Chapman and I can change this to brand support, hit enter, and there we have our success alert.
back to intern. And there we go. 